Hello, my name is Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your abdomen today. So, before we do that, can we confirm your name and date of birth, please? Uh, yep, yeah, my name is David Rogerson, 16th of the 9th, 1991. Thank you. So, to clarify, in terms of looking over your abdomen, that's going to involve having a look over your hands, having a look over your head and neck, and getting you to take your shirt off and examining your stomach. So that'll involve both having a look and also pressing around, as well as having a look at your legs. Is that okay? That's fine. Perfect. So to start off, could I get you to put your hands out in front of you, please? Okay, and if you could turn your hands over. Thank you. And if you could turn your hands back and cock your wrists out. Okay. And then put your fingers together like so, please. Great. If you put your hands back once more, that's fine. You're just checking your pulse. That's fine. Relax for me. I'm just going to check up here. That all feels nice and normal. Now, we're just going to do your blood pressure, if I might. Do you have any problems with this arm? No. Good. So we're just going to check. That's fine. Okay, and just relax that arm down for me. Okay, and we're just going to check that again with the stethoscope. Seems all right. Let's just take that off. Now I need to have a look over your head and neck, if I might. So, if I could just get you to look up for me. Okay. And now look down, please. That's great. Now we would normally have a look in your mouth to have a look at your teeth and your tongue, but obviously with the masks, that's not possible at the moment. I now need to see if there's any lumps and bumps around your head and neck. So, if I get you to sit up and swing your legs around. So I'm going to examine by putting my hands on your neck from behind. Is that okay? That's fine. So I'm going to check under the chin to start with. Coming along under the jaw. In front and behind the ears. Okay, shrug your shoulders up for me please. And relax. And I'm just going to press in at the back there. That's fine. If you'd be kind enough to take your shirt off and then I will lie you back on the bed. So if you lie back for me. Okay. So I can't see any abnormal issues on your stomach. Um, are there any areas of pain or tenderness? No. Okay. So to start off, I'm just going to palpate around lightly. Tell me if it hurts at all, please. Any problems with that? No. Nope. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit deeper now. Okay, so I couldn't feel any lumps and bumps now. Now I'm going to have a look for your liver. So I'm going to press onto your stomach. Now if you mm. breathe in for me. And out. In. And out. In and out. In and out. Okay, I'm going to do the same going the other way now. Deep breath in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. 
in and out. That's fine. So I'm just going to tap across to check the liver. That's fine. And the same again for the spleen. That's good. I'm just going to tap around generally. need to have a listen to see if I can hear your stomach sounds. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to check for any renal sounds. Okay, there's no signs of renal bruise, that's good. Okay, that's good. Now I need to press down directly over the centre, so... Okay, that's good, we've got a normal pulse there. I'm going to check either side to see if I can feel your kidneys. Okay, terrific. So I just need to have a quick look at your legs, and if you could just take your socks, off, socks and shoes off please, so I can have a quick look at your feet. Just checking, there's no abnormalities there. I'm just going to check for fluid. That's fine. That's fine. So I didn't find any abnormalities uh, on your examination today. Do you have any questions for me? No. Terrific. Thank you very much. You can get yourself dressed again.